In Gaza, conditions for civilians are reportedly worsening by the day as Israeli forces continue their attacks. Palestinian officials say more than 100 people have been killed in the last 24 hours in new Israeli strikes. And it's those conditions that have people trying desperately to escape the violence. Tonight, we've learned a four-year-old boy and his family have made their way to Boston from Gaza. The child will get medical treatment here after being severely injured in an airstrike. NBC 10's Malcolm Johnson is live at Logan Airport with more on their journey. Malcolm, good evening. Good evening. This is a journey, Melody, that this mother and young son are very much still trying to make sense of. Imagine, she lost her husband. He died. She lost her son. He also died. And now she is here in America, a place that she has never been, where she knows no one. From a war zone to Logan Airport, from losing your husband and a son in war to gaining love and peace. That is the reality of Dua Alarir. She and her son Jude, bound to a wheelchair, were brought to America by the Palestine Children Relief Fund so he can receive surgery at Shriners Hospital after the amputee lost his leg in an airstrike, a strike that killed his brother. Arir traveled from Gaza to Cairo, Egypt, after losing her loved ones. She leaves behind her daughter, a war zone, and a life that in ways began to feel lifeless. They practically lost everything. Um, between having to leave their homes, the homes being destroyed, having to, to endure so much loss. Um, she lost her husband. The same day that Jude got injured, her other son passed, uh, died as well. She lost him. She was injured. Her other daughter was injured. Since November, she's been, um, she hasn't had all her children around her. She's been kind of separated from them. So it's a big, big loss that's unimaginable. But now her son, holding new toys tight, will receive life-changing medical care. They'll stay with the host family for three months. And this mother and son can begin to heal from wounds that strike like bombs, but extend beyond any physical pain. With this warm welcome, she feels like she has a lot more freedom, a lot more hope. And uh, to her, this is like the beginning of the treatment for the son. And that's the good news, is that her son will be able to get some of that life-changing treatment right here in America. But you have to consider the mother and all that she has been through and the likelihood that she will spend many of the mornings where she wakes up in a place that is now completely quiet um, and safe, which is all good, but where she leaves her daughter back behind. But the hope is that they will be returning several months down the road. Melody, we'll send it back to you. For now, we're live reporting at Logan Airport. I'm Malcolm Johnson, NBC10 Boston. My mother's anguish is palpable. Malcolm, thank you for bringing us that story.